The colony of New Amsterdam occupies the mouth of the Hudson around Manhattan Island and separate New England from Virginia. By 1664, there were seven to 8,000 colonists living in New Netherland. Most of those were actually in New Amsterdam, with a total count of 2,500. To follow up the campaign on the African coast, Charles essentially gives James license to go and deal with New Amsterdam. The St. Provinces was built in 1665 in Rotterdam, and she was in service right up to the 1690s. If the St. Provinces was actually going into battle, uh, it could be up to five to six hundred people being on board. So they had a lot of people sitting in the mast with muskets and pistols. The English had been experimenting with linear formations in the first Anglo-Dutch war because their ships were bigger and more heavily armed. They had a firepower advantage and that could best be used by forming a single line ahead and firing broadsides. So the English pioneered a firepower-based tactical revolution. They went from maneuver and combat to firepower. Jan de Witt sends the Dutch fleet to sea for one last try to push up the Thames and up the River Medway to the main English fleet anchorage below Chatham. They break the boom, the chain which was stretched across the Medway. They push up the river until they get to the reach where the four biggest English ships were lying. And they capture the fleet flagship, the Royal Charles, and tow her away in triumph. And the truth is, I do so fear the whole kingdom is undone. At two hours' warning, I sent my father and wife into the country by coach this day with about 1,300 pounds in gold in their night bag. Oh, pray God give them good passage. Mm -hmm.